What to the up you guys? Welcome back. I have a little rant for you guys today. I usually don't do this, but we're gonna do it today. I am like absolutely tired of going to fat fast food places and ordering food. And when I get the food, the food 100% looks like it's been through a train wreck. If I'm ordering something from a menu, and there's pictures of this item. I expect what I'm getting to look like the picture. Is that too much to assume? I don't know. Let me know. Have you guys gone to Burger King? I ordered a burger, and you get that burger, and it looks like somebody sat on it. Literally, like <laughs> it literally looks like it's flat. Like it's like literally, it's like sat on it, or I don't know. They squished it. <laughs> Ah. For example, we went to a restaurant, a famous breakfast restaurant. I ordered pancakes, and in the picture, and for how they described it, compared to what I got, was, I mean, it blew my mind. And this wasn't even fast food now, this is actually like, you know, a dine-in restaurant, okay? And I get mad, I get mad, because I mean, I get so excited for what I'm actually ordering. And nobody call me a fat bitch, I don't know, I don't really give a shit, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm a critic. I'm a critic, bitches. I like food, I like things, and I'm a consumer. And I, if I'm buying something, I expect it to be like what the picture is, or what it should be. I mean, you're not gonna buy a TV and when you open it and get it out of the box, it's like eight times smaller than what you expect it, right? So it's kind of the same thing like with food. You know, I'm looking at a picture, it's appetizing, I get excited for it, and then when I get it, it looks like it's been through a hurricane or it's just not at all what the picture looked like or what you thought it would be. Okay, listen, I don't know, I, cause I don't wanna call it out cause I kinda have an idea in my head and I wanna do it. Um, now I'm gonna let you guys know exactly what it is. Cause as a consumer, I'm tired of paying good money for stuff, and when I get it, being highly disappointed. So I decided what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna do a segment on my channel, which is basically going to be what I ordered versus what I got. Cause I don't want nobody to lose their jobs or anything like that, but I think the quality of what they're giving out needs to be addressed and bitch i'm gonna be the one to address it so how about that how about it so i'm gonna vlog about my experience because i am really 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 tired of paying good money for food or for stuff that when i get it it just looks like garbage okay i'm gonna tell you what happened and the reason why i brought up the pancakes we ended up going to ihop and we ordered breakfast Okay, I got these chocolate mousse pancakes because I'm a chocoholic and I love chocolate. Um, Michael got uh, birthday cake pancakes and we ordered, you know, eggs and whatever else came with the, you know, the meal. My pancakes come out and I'm looking at it and it's literally three pancakes, okay, stacked on top of each other with like some chocolate drizzle on top of it uh and some whipped cream mind you the picture was a pancake chocolate mousse a pancake chocolate mousse another pancake whipped cream and chocolate drizzle not at all what i got there was nothing between the pancakes at least there were chocolate pancakes there was no chocolate layers between the pancakes like the picture showed um there was no mousse chocolate mousse whatsoever and it was highly disappointing and then Michael's pancakes come out, and his pancakes are supposed to, in the picture, you can clearly see in the pancakes that there are sprinkles mixed in the actual batter to make the pancakes, you know, sprinkly and whatever. He gets regular pancakes, again, stacked on top of each other, nothing in between, and there was whipped cream with sprinkles on top of the whipped cream. I mean, again, we literally looked at each other like, what is, like, they, they just got super lazy and they just threw some shit together and threw it on a plate and was like, here you go. And then to top it all off, when Michael is eating his eggs, 
he bites into like these three pieces of something that's like really hard <laughs> and he's like what is this and he puts it aside and he's like starts tapping it with his fork and he's like danny look at this and i'm looking at it and i'm like what in gay hell is that we call the waitress over okay and she takes she literally grabs a plate she takes a look at it mind you giving us like a little attitude at the same time she leaves with the plate comes back with the manager and tells us that she that highly apologizes that that was um bone from the grill or something like that from a pot roast uh, lady, first of all, I'm, these are eggs. Why was my eggs next to a pot roast? Like, I mean, was this like, a, you didn't clean the grill? We literally were just disgusted. And then my eggs came out and I had ordered uh, mushrooms and spinach and they had put this like hollandaise sauce on top of it. And it literally just tasted like they just, it was melted butter. After he sent back the eggs, I sent back my thing. I was, it was just disgusting. Um, she was like, oh, you don't even want your pancakes? And I was like, no, I don't even want those. This is legit the first time that I sent food back. Like, I've never had to do that. I left that restaurant so upset, and I literally, like, told Michael, I was like, this is a, gr I mean, I'm gonna do this segment. What I ordered versus what I got. And I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. And then I'm gonna show you guys pictures of the menu and the picture, and then I'm gonna show you guys what I got. And I'm gonna start doing segments like that coming very soon. I'm sorry that I got so upset, you guys. I usually don't do this, but that really just pulled my pendeggers. I get so upset when I spend money on something and I don't get what I expected or what I want. It really upsets me. Anyway, <laughs> rant over, I guess. Stay tuned for this segment on, you know me, I'm gonna make it really interesting and making places responsible for the product that they are giving to their consumer. I work too hard to be throwing away money, so. Yes. <laughs> anyway, you guys, thank you so much for watching. As always, I love you all. I hope you guys are having an awesome, awesome day or night, wherever you guys are. And make sure you guys do all those beautiful things that I love for you to do. And I will definitely catch you guys on the next one. Bye. Shoo.